Hello YouTube people, I just bought new microphone cable and wanted to do a little testing video. This cable goes from Shure SM58 XLR output right into 3.5 millimeter jack straight into the camera and right now I'm using automatic settings inside the camera without any post processing so no audio synchronization needed nothing I'm just recording straight into the camera just through the simple cable XLR into 3.5 millimeter jack and you know I'm wondering how this microphone will reject the noise it should do actually very well because it's a dynamic microphone so let's go to the balcony which is next to the very busy road and let's see how it sounds so behind me is a very busy road many cars are passing by lots of noise and I'm wondering how well this microphone is rejecting the environment noise while I'm speaking and when I'm silent well this camera is right now on automatic settings so when I'm silent it should probably boost audio and you should hear the road a lot better so this is how it sounds when I speak in a very noisy environment into Shure SM58 microphone now let's try another microphone right now I'm speaking into very cheap Boya Lavalier microphone the one that you have you need batteries and I hold this microphone like if it's a dynamic microphone to increase signal to noise ratio because this room is very echoey so if I would put microphone on my chest as lavalier microphone is supposed to be you probably hear a lot of room echo so that's why I like using this microphone like if it was a dynamic now let's go to the balcony let's see how is the noise rejection it should be very bad because this microphone doesn't have any noise rejection outside of the you know from the environment and I am quiet or I am speaking doesn't really matter much even though I'm speaking right next to the microphone trying to increase signal to noise ratio you still hear the road very well I believe and if I put this microphone on my chest even though I am facing away from the road but there is plenty of sound bouncing off the window so this is how it sounds and this is how it sounds if I speak directly into microphone like so now let's jump to another microphone right now I'm using Rode video micro microphone on a long cable so uh, first intention was to use this microphone as if it was like SM58 but the problem is when I put this microphone on a long cable it gets lots of static noise so it's you know not a very good option on original short cable it doesn't pick any static noise but on this long cable it's very bad I don't know probably the cable is bad or something but it just doesn't work but you know for testing purposes let's just go to the balcony let's see how it does so this is a you know somewhat a shotgun type of a microphone it's very directional <laughs> so if I face this microphone to the road you probably hear everything very well even though I'm speaking very close to the microphone but right now if I face away from the road you probably all you hear is just sound bouncing off a window behind me yeah so anyway this is how it sounds and it's not very good because this microphone on this long cable picks a lot of uh, static noise now let's jump to another test now the previous recordings you just saw were completely straight from the camera with automatic settings with no post-processing whatsoever but this time I will apply post-processing on this Shure SM58 microphone I think this one sounds the best and what I'm gonna do is I going to apply noise gate at minus 30 decibels uh, not now, not yet, R right now it's completely raw, straight out of the camera and I will add compression uh, threshold, let's make minus 15 decibels and ratio 1 by 3, okay, 1 by 3 ratio, threshold minus 15 decibels and before all that, noise gate minus 30 decibels so let's do it right now right now you hear me with this post processing this is how it sounds with this compression and this noise gate and i will shut up for a second it is this microphone is quiet either way it it does not have 
much of a static noise or whatever. It's it's very very good microphone. Let's go to the balcony. Let's see how it does right now with those post processing settings. Lots of cars passing by, lots of noise, and right now I'm using noise gate at minus 30 decibels, which is probably not correct for this kind of environment, but you know, just for testing purposes, let's do the same settings. And I'm using compression at minus 15 decibels threshold, and the ratio is 1 by 3. So this is how it sounds if I'm silent. And by the way, I'm recording directly into camera with also automatic settings, just to make life simple. <laughs> and I think it sounds all right. It's like, you know, reporter's microphone of some kind. Anyway, that's all I wanted to do today. This kind of testing, I'm just, you know, just messing around, playing a little bit. I hope this video is gonna be helpful to someone so I was actually surprised that I can connect this Shure SM58 microphone directly to the camcorder with this simple cable that goes from XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack apply some post processing and it sounds all right it doesn't sound bad it's it's fine especially if I'm recording in quiet environment like a room but wait, there is more. <laughs> right now I'm recording in my semi-professional studio setup where in this room there are plenty of big pillows around me to reduce the echo. And with this Shure SM58 microphone I'm recording through DBX286S preamplifier. I'm using a little bit of compression, a little bit of de a little bit of noise gate. Then the signal goes into Focus Scarlett Solo. Then the signal goes into PC where I'm recording on Audacity and I will apply two effects. At first I apply loudness normalization RMS minus 20 decibels. Then I apply limiter which is soft limit at minus 6 decibels. That's it. This is the final product. And I'm interested to compare how this semi-professional setup sounds like in comparison, if I would be recording directly to the camera with, with just simple post-processing effects. So let's try exactly that. Okay, right now I'm recording directly into camera with automatic settings inside the camera. Plus, I will apply some post-processing effects like noise gate at minus 30 decibels and compression. I believe I'm gonna make also minus 15 decibels uh, threshold and one by three ratio. And this is how it sounds, you know, it would be nice if I could sell that DBX286S, sell that Focusrite Scarlett Solo. I would also no need to record into Audacity to synchronize audio in post. If this sounds good enough, I mean, why bother? So I'm doing this testing actually for myself. I am really interested how this is going to turn out. Sorry, my wardrobe was open, so that was a little bit annoying shot to see, but I'm not going to remake those shots anyway. <laughs> I'm just doing this for myself, to be honest with you. This time I, I'm recording with Boya Lavalier microphone directly straight into camera with full automatic settings, no post processing whatsoever. It is as it is. And in my opinion, this Boya Lavalier microphone sounds pretty good when it's close to the mouth. In this kind of envir environment, there are a lot of pillows. Uh, the only problem with this microphone close to the mouth in a quiet environment is that it picks up a lot of mouth clicks. I mean, the closer to the microphone you speak, the more of the mouth nasty noises there are. So that's bad. So you. I would say you need at least this this far away to be from the microphone to remove those mouth clicks almost completely. But with this microphone to sound good somewhat, I, I have to be this close. I don't know. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. So boy, a level air microphone directly into camera, no post processing whatsoever. Maybe that's all I need just to use this microphone in this room with plenty of pillows. So there is no echo, almost almost no echo. Anyway, that's enough. Enough of testing for today. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.